It's time to talk about how we can use the power of the platform system to give you peace of mind while you work. Most of us have experienced data loss at one time or another in our careers. And regardless of how much technology improves, there's always a chance that hardware can fail. And when it does, it costs you time and money. In this example, we'll see how you can set up a continuous backup of a platform space to prevent from data loss. Let's start by looking at the storage groups in our platform network. In this example, we're going to take a look at Edit Group 1, which is on Server V3 Test 1, and Nearline Backup, which is on Server V3 Test 2. Now, both of these storage groups are separate RAID arrays on different servers. We're working primarily in Edit Group 1, which is where all of our platform spaces for editing are located. So let's say we're working on this project called The Color of Her Eyes and we have an active edit going on on that project. And we want to make sure that all the information and all the work we're spending on that project is backed up on an hour by hour or even a minute by minute basis. So what we're going to do is we're working here in Edit Group 1. We're going to come over here to this storage group called Nearline Backup. And we're going to create another platform space. Let's call this the color of her eyes backup. We're going to set this at two terabytes of space just in case our project grows significantly. And now we have an additional platform space called the color of her eyes backup. I'm going to come back here to edit group one position on this particular platform space and I'm going to set up a backup by coming over to options and clicking on backup. Now the backup option allows us to then say we want to create a task called backup. The source where the information is coming from is the color of her eyes editing project and the backup that we're going to send it to is the color of her eyes backup. Now we have some options here. One is we could start this backup immediately. And the second one is we could schedule it for a time later in the evening or the next day if necessary. We're going to go ahead and start it immediately. The last option is to establish the maximum speed that this backup will take. What this means is that you can set the maximum amount of bandwidth that this backup will use of system resources during the backup. For instance, if you are operating during the day and you've got a lot of editors working on the system, you may want to limit that bandwidth to a lesser amount so it doesn't affect anyone else while they're working. I'm going to go ahead and set this to no and then hit save. When I do so, a confirmation box will come up and just allow us to confirm what we're doing. We're creating a backup from one platform space to another with no max speed. I'll hit confirm and the system will bring up the task menu showing you that this task has started. So after waiting a while let's take a look at what's happening on our system. In the original platform space the color of her eyes the use space is 701 gig. Let's come over here to the Nearline Backup Storage Group and take a look at the Backup Platform Space. Here you can see that it is also you already used 701 gigabytes. So the system has backed up this Edit Group 1, the Color of Her Eyes Platform Space, into this secondary platform space and copied all of the information. The great part about this backup system is that it's continuous so any additional changes that are done within the edit group are automatically copied to the nearline group. 